We have been invited to Logitech's Logiplay Masterclass in London, so step one, we gotta drive there. So, we've already encountered the first issue, which is that I didn't check to make sure the car was charged properly. So before we can see what this Logitech event's all about, we've gotta to go to the services and get the car charged. I'll see you in a second. So, let me explain why going to this Logitech event is such a big deal for me. First of all, it gives me some kind of validation as a creator, right? I want to get to more of these events so I can network with more creators, network with more brands, and ultimately make more money and not be so dependent on my audience to actually pay my bills for me. Now, I didn't do all of this off my own back. My good friend, Just Cullen, uh, actually put my name forward and they accepted me, but the fact that they still let me in, surely they did some kind of cross-checking to make sure I wasn't a crazy person that wasn't actually a creator. They did some cross-checking and they've let me in. I'm really excited just to see what happens, to see who's talking, to see if they've got any products on show, to see if there's any freebies. Logitech haven't paid me to come to this event. Uh, I'm just really happy to get the opportunity to do it. Next stop, London. The great thing about having a bit of a posh car is that it has this arcade in it. So even when I'm like charging my car or I'm on the road, I can, I can actually play a whole bunch of different games. We're gonna do a whole separate video on this, but this is a little sneak peek for you guys. Uh, there's Cuphead, there's Asteroids, there's Fallout Shouter, Stardew Valley, Cat Quest. All of this comes free with the uh, with the car, so we can we can play some games even whilst we're waiting. So we did arrive in London, but as is typical, the last four miles took about an hour, and I drink quite a lot of coffee on these journeys. So I did find myself in a position where I was pretty desperate for a wee when I got here, but. We're on our way to the venue. I'm gonna put my camera away because I'm walking down the street like a crazy person. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you there in a sec. It is currently two o'clock in the morning. I've just arrived home and honestly, I can't face finishing this video off. So I'll see you in the morning when I look a little bit prettier. I'm a little bit more ready to talk about what a great day I had. It's the next day, look at me, all branded up in Logitech swag. Absolutely loving it. I was so tired last night, I could not finish this, but uh, I thought I'd just jump on today and give you a little overview of how yesterday was. Let's just pop you there. Yes, so very, very, very lucky to have been invited to the Logitech event. And that's largely thanks to uh, another creator called Just Callin, who is essentially like, she's taken me under her wing a little bit and said, uh, let me introduce you to these different people. Let me introduce you to these different brands. Let me put you forward for stuff that I can put you forward for. And I could not be more grateful. I was so excited to be able to attend this event and terrified at the same time, like completely. I'm generally, a fairly confident person but when I go to these events on my own even when I was a senior marketing person at a company when I go to these events on my own inserting myself into a conversation or a group of people I find absolutely terrifying I feel like it it, it feels like everyone's in a little click and you're trying to get into that click luckily uh, another creator called Aubrey uh, was braver than me and walked up to me and said hello and then uh, I spotted a few other people who I recognised off TikTok and some of those people recognised me as well and got chatting to a few different people and had some really really great conversations. Now the event itself was uh, two panels, one of them was talking about growing on YouTube and one of them was talking about collaboration. Both were really really insightful from people who have obviously done incredibly well on uh, platforms like YouTube and short form platforms and I got a lot of insight from that. But what I really got from it was that everyone had to figure out how they did what they did retrospectively. So people talk a lot about reviewing analytics and uh, hooks and uh, you know all of these different things. But when these people started, none of them knew that stuff. They had to learn it. They had to figure it out. They had to understand the vibe of the video. And then they tried to justify what they did using analytics and retrospective thought. So they connect the dots going backwards, not going forwards. And I think what I got from it is that through experience, they started to figure out and get a sense for what works and what doesn't. But that was very rarely from looking at numbers and figures. 
One of the things I know from my marketing work is that what the data tells you is what happened in the past. It doesn't help tell you what's gonna happen in the future. So if you want to be the next big thing or create in the next big trend or be on the next big trend, historic data is not gonna tell you what that was because it hasn't happened yet. It can only tell you what has happened in the past. So the talks were really interesting and it was inspiring to see these people who had made big gains on YouTube uh, and on TikTok and other places. And it was incredible to actually meet some creators face to face who I've seen on TikTok. Some people uh, who I've been watching and taking tips from for a long time and to see them there. They're real people doing normal things. They're just like me, they're just like you. This stuff is available to everyone. So if there's one thing alone that that Logitech event gave me is that knowledge that we're all in the same boat. Some people are a little bit further ahead, they started sooner. You know, there was people that started on YouTube in 2012 or whatever, or, you know, years and years back. I've been doing it for like 20 years and it was a different game than to what it is now. And they're all still talking about, right, now Shorts is coming out on YouTube, now this thing has happened, this new platform's come out and they're having to figure stuff out. So there's gonna be some areas where, you know, potentially smaller creators have more knowledge because they are native to newer platforms, but it's just, they are just people they were just figuring it out. Very rarely did those people go into it going, I'm gonna do this a job. They just said, I really enjoy this thing and I'm passionate about it. And it became a job for them. I suppose I'm in two of those camps where I'm really passionate about what I do and I love it and I wanna build a really positive, inclusive and exciting community. But I also wanna do this as a job. So thank you to Logitech, first of all. They haven't paid me, they literally invited me to the event. Uh, because someone else recommended me. Thank you for them for creating a space where creators can get together. I will try to be braver next time and talk to more people. So if you're at the event and you saw me uh, staring at you in a weird way, it's because I probably recognised you off TikTok or YouTube or whatever and I was just too scared to come and say hello. But if you ever see me at one of these events in the future um, and I'm standing on my own looking at my phone, it's not because I'm a, an antisocial nors it's because i am weirdly introverted in that specific situation if you put me on a stage right in front of 200 people i had to speak absolutely no problem whatsoever if you put me in a room where i'm on my own and i have to go around and talk to people on an individual basis oh my god such a such a terrible situation uh thank you for the swag uh thank you for inviting me to the event thank you to the people who spoke on the panel just phenomenal phenomenal thing really gave me a boost and made me realize that this is possible for me too. And I'm not just uh, chasing after something that is unattainable.